never been Black Friday shopping before. This is my first time like going to the States to do Black Friday shopping. And I'm kind of nervous. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's because we haven't really been to the States a lot when since the pandemic. Like, we used to go all the time. Like, when I had roommates, we'd actually go over call it going over the river we go over the river to go get groceries because back then it was cheaper to get groceries at tops than it was to get groceries here so i'm excited too it's gonna be fun i'm just a, a mix of emotions without any caffeine which can be dangerous also i'm a little hungry so Thankfully, we're going to Tim Hortons. We're vlogging. We're vlogging. We're vlogging. We're vloggers. We're vloggers. I think. I'm driving home. Yeah, we're, we're making Carly drive home. Anyway. Well, baby, yay! Loaf steak for lunch. Did you enjoy your lunch, Carly? I did. Um, chicken sandwich, right? I had a chicken sandwich. 
It was a really good chicken sandwich. Mm-hmm. I had it last time we went there, and I would recommend the buttermilk chicken sandwich if you ever go to Longhorn Steakhouse. Highly recommend that. Mm-hmm. With the fries, the fries were really good. Fries were good, yeah. yeah. Lori, did you want a water? Okay. All right, off to Coles. Coles it is. Coles. That's cute. Oh my god. Yeah, I like that one better. They both look amazing. I don't know what I look like in either of them. Oh, because right I can't see me. Right no? no. Oh, yeah, right. I'm normally. They're back. Suits are back. They too. Good, I'm glad. A uh, sugar cookie. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at the like sprinkles on it. One wrap with. I do. Oh, that would be cute, eh? <laughs> With that skirt? It was like a tulle skirt. It was like a... Like, I don't like the patterns on these oh, ones. Oh, yeah. Like, if they were just plain. And not brown? And not brown. And, and what and more mean, cup? Coffee is brown. Yeah. I want cute don't colors. Don't want to be though. reminded of it. I want cute colors. Yeah. Girl that she wants to try on. Mm-hmm. And then... I think that both of the pairs of shoes that we're trying on right now were meant to be. I know. Even without the shoehorn, I'm, I'm doing it. I don't care. <laughs> don't take a cookie off of that pan. You don't want to mess with this man. I told you I've heard Hanson here before. <laughs> We're having fun. We're having fun. What time is it now? It is 8.45 at night. We left the house about 8.45 this morning. Um, we were running a little bit late. <laughs> is that, does that one make iced coffee too? Yeah, it might be this one. No, it's this one. Yeah, because this one makes iced coffee too. And then you can put this on the back. Which is how I have mine set up. So see how this one's on the back? Oh, okay. It can be set up either way. Oh, okay. So it's like slim. How do you find the iced coffee? Is it good? Yeah, I like it. It's like pure coffee. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Because I had that mini one, but then... Yeah, but that one was... Huh? That one was below. Yeah, it was too mini. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I just bought that sage one. Yeah, so. Buy another book. She says. Yeah. Great for sipping on the go. What do you guys think? Should I get this one? Or. 
should I get this one to be different? Yeah, be different. Be different. I agree. It, are we only here for this? Yeah. Are you hilarious? You are hilarious. Such a long day. <laughs> I'm so tired. It was a fun day. Fun day. Yeah. Got lots of nice stuff. Yeah. We will do a haul, but not today. <laughs> we do not have the energy for a haul today. We still need to eat some dinner. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is our Black Friday haul. Three days later. Okay, Michelle, where should we start first? I think chronological order is the best. So, Old Navy. Old Navy. At Old Navy, I got a gray tank top. How much was it? Six dollars. They're my favorite tank tops. They're so comfortable. I got this vest. It was on sale. Very nice, light, transitional, seasonal vest. Puffer vests are Puffer very vest. in right now, I think, mm -hmm. as far as a 36-year-old female in Canada can tell. At Old Navy, I got my family's Christmas pajamas. There, I buy my parents and James and I matching Christmas pajamas because we live next door to each other. So we do Christmas morning together. So I've got the guys pajamas and the gals pajamas they're the same pattern but they are different kinds of pants so the guys look like this they're tapered in at the bottom they're kind of like a flannelish material and the girls are a more legging style yeah more legging style and they're like a little bit of a waffle Mm. kind of material but they're very comfortable the women's tops so my mom and i are wearing the ones that say magical on them and the men's tops are just plain they just didn't have the men's ones with the word magical on it because i know james and my dad would totally wear a shirt that says magical i was hoping he was going to say christmas and be like magical christmas when you stand together that would be cute yes um. Let's look at the receipt. <laughs> the longest receipt in the world. Um, but these were on a great sale. The men's tops were originally $23. Got them for 9 The women's tops... Oh, it's not in order. Yeah, the women's tops were originally 20 Got them for 8 And then the bottoms were originally 25 Got them for... 10 so yeah pretty good deal on these and then i got myself some new pixie pants i've always loved the cut of the pixie pants oh, they're so nice they I are love pixies and then i also got myself i've done a lot of shopping for myself <laughs> i also got myself this hoodie it is so fuzzy and warm and i love it i have the exact same one in brown i got it when james and i were in pittsburgh um so this is just another one for me. But this one was on an amazing deal. Let me find the receipt because I was surprised when I actually saw it. Where is it? Micro fleece funnel neck pullover hoodie for women. Originally $29.99. Got it for $11.99. Nice. Woo! That was, I think that's my biggest Black Friday deal. After lunch, we went to Ulta, which we don't have in Canada. And it's quite expensive if you're if you've never been there before. So it's one of those places that I go to for like, I look for very specific things that I know are going to be on sale. It is also fun to just walk around mm -hmm. and just see what's there. But what did you get at Ulta? I got, uh, it's called Mega Babe. What did you get, Carly? I got, um, so from Ulta, I got three Man Eater Mascaras because it's my favorite mascara and it's stupid expensive for mascara it's like 24 dollars per tub and 
they have them on 50% off on Black Friday every year. So $12 a tub. So I figure for $12 American, which is like 18-ish Canadian, mm -hmm. I can kind of justify that because you really only need a two or three a year. Yeah. <laughs> and it works so well for me. I'm wearing it right now, mm -hmm. actually. <laughs> I also got um, a new palette. I don't know the brand Revolution, but it is what I'm also wearing right now. And then the last thing I got, which I haven't tried yet, um, is Milani Supercharged Cheek and Lip Multi-Stick. So it's a little stick. The color is Rose Recharge, number 120. They had this one and then they had more of an orangey one, but I know with my skin tone, the pink ones look quite good. So I'm excited to give that one a try. So I'm very excited at Ulta. All together, I spent fifty one ninety seven, which isn't bad. It's not great. At Kohl's, I bought a matching tracksuit because they're all the rage. It's super comfy. I love the color. At Kohl's, I bought a like long sleeve black t shirt for I think it was five or six dollars. Yeah, it was super cheap. Um, the reason that I bought that was because I was wearing a lovely red dress. It was a little bit warm though for the day and like what we were doing, but also I got puked on by my little baby cousin. So my whole arm just stank. <laughs> <laughs> so all I could smell was that. So I had to get out of it. So I just changed into that, um, in the car, literally in the car, I changed into my new shirt, but I also got there, I got this scarf. It is a cashmere scarf, and I do just, I love the tartan pattern, being of Scottish descent and everything. So, super soft, on sale for 50% off, got it for 10 bucks, and my mom got me one as well that's pink <laughs> for Christmas, so I'm, I'll be getting that in December. So yeah, love that. And then the last thing I got, I can't show you because it's a Christmas gift for somebody, but it was only $5. On sale again, 50% off. I also got five of my favorite bras at Kohl's. They're the Bally brand. They're typically $48 to $65, depending on which ones you get. And they were on for $15, so I got five, of course, because... When you can get, like, five for the price of one normally? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that works out nicely. And that's my Kohl's haul. After Kohl's, we went to Target. Because it's right beside there. Exactly. It was perfect. Actually, I think there's a liquor store in between, but you know, basically right beside. <laughs> I got these really cute Merry and Bright slippers. I think they were only like $11. I can't remember. Anyway, and I wear them at Carly's house. They're my Carly slippers. <laughs> and I was like, can I wear Christmas slippers all year round? And she's like, of course you can. It's it's my house. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And I got this beautiful tumbler in the sage green. Your favorite color right my now. My favorite color right now. Yes. I also got another mug. But sadly it was not meant to be. Insert picture here of mug shattered on floor. <laughs> At Target, I got a three pack of like reusable cold cups. We had a Starbucks reusable cold cup that Michelle had sent over to England for me. Just like a $2 one. Mm -hmm. Nothing special, but James and I have used it to death. And the two of us sort of like would fight over who gets to use it. And so I saw these ones in a three pack and I was like, oh, that's perfect because now we can each have one and then there'll be an extra one. It also worked out really well because James broke that cup on Black Friday and he texted me a picture of it and he was so sad. He felt so bad that he had broke my cup. <laughs> I was like, it's not a big deal, babe. Two bucks, we're good. And so I got three for five. And if they had had other colors or even just another pack of the same ones, I would have bought another pack. But the other kind that they had had weird sayings on them. Yeah. And they were like, not a very nice color palette like they weren't horrible were they the, like browns it was white blue and brown oh yeah and it's like eh, they're fine i like the white and the blue the brown was a little bit like okay but then they had like i said they had those sayings on them mm -hmm. so i was not a huge fan yeah i also got a little wallet at target 
Our second last stop of the day was at JC Penney's, which was also our second stop of the day. We went to Penny's right after Old Navy before lunch, but we kind of ran out of time. Mm -hmm. So we went back to Penny's because Michelle had seen this item that she really liked. I bought this beautiful dress. It has pockets and it's got really cute, like flowy sleeves. Um, it was regularly $79.99 and I got it for $38. And then I also bought a super cute boot to go with the dress, whatever that was. Anyway, and I bought a sweater for David for 20, 20 bucks, 15 bucks. It was a nice pullover with a zipper and a navy blue. My Penny's haul is a little bit smaller. I got a fun sweater, which I think the theme of my shopping trip was, ooh, soft. <laughs> And green. <laughs> and green, yeah. A few green things. But yeah, got this sweater. Penny's has this brand called Anna, Anna, I don't know, A-N-A, I don't know. I've always liked their stuff. Every time I've been there, they do make plus sizes, which is fabulous for a plus size gal, I guess. And this is so soft, and I am so excited to wear it for the first time. And like I said, you're only going to hear about one wallet today. I got another wallet at Penny's as well. I think at this point in the night, the four of us that were left shopping, like my mom, my sister, Michelle and I, we were all ready to be done, but also like knew that there were things that we were still looking for. Mm -hmm. So when I said that I wanted to look for a wallet, it was a team effort and everybody dove in. <laughs> there was hands flying. There were wallets everywhere. We didn't make a mess or anything, but we ended up finding this lovely wallet. It's a little bit different than what I was anticipating wanting, but it's the same size as the fabulous wallet that I had. It does have a spot for coins and it has a spot for like eight different cards. But the best part about it is it has one of those long spots that you can put money in so like, like the bills, bills go yeah. flat so the other ones that I have you have to fold the bills up mm -hmm. and it makes the wallet chunkier right so it was great I think that's what really sold me on purchasing this wallet mm -hmm. so my wallet was my wallet was originally $26 and got it on sale for $10 and 40 cents and then my sweater was originally $42 and got it on sale for $24.99 Nice. So I was pleased with both of those purchases. And last but not least, Walmart. Specifically to get this mug. I got this mug in pink in Pittsburgh. It's 40 ounces, cold for 50 hours, it says. And yeah, I would say that's accurate. Holds five cups of water. Like, it's just amazing. The really cool thing about it, too, sorry that I've just stolen your <laughs> mug and this part of it, but if you take the straw out, oh, I don't know how the straw comes out. Oh, uh, it's because they've got the things on it. But, anyways, I'm going to open that, okay? Yeah, that's fine. So the really cool thing about it is if you take the straw out, it seals at the top and you can literally hold it upside down and nothing will come out. I did not know this. Yeah, it's amazing. And it fits in a cup holder. Like, it couldn't get any better. Yay! Here's the thing. I was obsessed with this mug. I, like, I, every time I saw it, I was like, oh man, I really want this mug. And then it was getting so late in the night and we're like, do we go to Walmart? And Lori and your mom were like, no. And we're like, yes. Yeah. So I got my mug and some pads because, you know, when you're at Walmart, might as well. Yeah, might as well. Mm -hmm. but yeah. Fabulous mug. Highly recommend it. It's only like 13 bucks. Yeah. Like it was really cheap. Now, my trip to Walmart had a similar purchase so i got this mug this one is a coffee specific mug i've taken the label off because i used it today um it is everything that i wanted it to be except you can't drink you can't make it a left-handed mug it's only right-handed 
And that just so weird that it, I, I struggled with it this morning for like a good 10 minutes trying to figure out if it was just me not doing it right. But I can't figure out a way to put it on so that it stops so that I can drink my coffee left handed like I always do. Like it, it has to stop there. So there was a lot of drinking it without the handle today. But the great thing about it is it kept my coffee hotter than any of my other mugs have in the recent months because I have a couple of really good mugs that just haven't been keeping them warm lately. Mm. So I think, I don't know if this is a thing or not, but I'm wondering if over time, if they lose their yeah. ability to keep warm, like mm -hmm. after you wash it over and over and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. I don't know if that's the case or not, but this, it kept my coffee so warm this morning. It is supposed to be leak proof. Let's see. What else does this say? Oh, it's the same brand. It's the same brand. Yeah. Tal? Tall? I don't know. Snap lock lid, shatterproof lid, great for the office. It's also great for the office. Let's see. Condensation free. Holds two and a half cups, so it's a 20 ounce mug. And it fits in my cup holder. Which is so important for me. I like to take drinks on the go. So yeah, I've just talked for a long time about my mug that is almost perfect. I wonder if there's a way that I can fix that. I'll have to Google it. I'll let you guys know if I find anything. <laughs> and then the last thing that I got there, or I guess technically the last two things that I got there, were new Christmas shirts for James and I. James, coming from England, is on board with the Christmas attire. Ugly Christmas jumpers are a huge thing over there. Mm -hmm. The thing that he doesn't like is like an actual jumper. He doesn't like sweaters. He doesn't like wool, much like me. Like we're both very sensitive to different types of materials. So he's all on board for t-shirts. So we got him this one that says, oh snap. <laughs> I thought it was funny. He thought it was funny too. So that's good. He's very, he's a very good sport when it comes to me and my Christmas thing. And then the one that I got for myself, my favorite color is Christmas light. So I just thought they were both kind of cute. I can wear this to school at Christmas time and stuff too. Mm -hmm. So versatile. And I got both of these. They were each $6.98. And my mug was $13.98. So for a grand total. Oh, and I also bought a Diet Coke because I was thirsty. And then there was a five cent fee on that. And then a checkout bag because... I couldn't carry all my stuff out and that was five cents and there's no handles on it so it was really awkward I don't know why I'm telling you all this anyways grand total of $31.97 at Walmart nice I guess the real question Michelle is how was your first experience of Black Friday it was definitely less busy than I was expecting not to say it wasn't busy it was classic Christmas shopping as I know it long lines and just like a bunch of people everywhere but I was expecting more like pushing and shoving and like like what you see on the internet exactly it was it was a long day <laughs> yeah I did have fun and I will definitely come again if you so choose to fight me but uh Definitely not what I was expecting. And I'm kind of glad that we didn't experience any of the, like, having to stand outside and, like, wait in long lines and all that bogus stuff. Yeah. So. We did enough of that during the panorama pizza. Oh. <laughs> exactly. I think what's different about it is, like, where we go. We go to Blaisdell, New York, mm -hmm. which is where my, the area that my family lives in. So it's not right across the border. So it's not where most Canadians would go. Mm -hmm. So any Canadian that's going shopping generally doesn't venture quite that far into New York State. But we're also not going shopping. Sorry. But we're also not going shopping for like the big ticket items. Mm -hmm. Some of my cousins go are going for like the kids toys and things like that because they have little kids still. And they are there at like five o'clock in the morning waiting in lines, waiting for stores to open that sort of stuff. We're not going for the technology or anything like that. So it's a little bit less busy mm -hmm. and it makes it a little bit more enjoyable. Thanks for coming with us to Black Friday. We had a lot of fun. 
and I hope you had fun watching us experience Black Friday and Michelle experiencing it for the first time. Also hope you enjoyed the haul. Typically I'm not a fan of hauls, um, but Katie requested a haul from us in our Ikea video, so we figured we might as well give her a haul this time. Exactly. Hi Katie! <laughs> Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel, and thank you so much to the people who have been subscribing. We had a lovely surprise of an extra three subscribers today, getting us to a jolly old number of 46. Hopefully when you see this video, that number will be even higher. It will be higher. It'll be 50. And then a hundred, and then five hundred, and then a thousand. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. You can always follow us on Instagram as well. We would love to have you join our communities over there. We post about all the sort of random stuff that we do on our regular daily lives and things that you don't get to normally see on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.